Hi guys, this new mobile here. iPad Pro 2021 is here again. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Please help me by purchase any one of the products using the link below. Thanks for your support. The report is informed about the estimated release date of iPad Pro 2021. In March 2021 the new iPad may get launched. In the last year, Apple analyst Ming Kai Kuo had already given us hints about the iPad Pro 2021, that it might get released in March. This report has given a little amount of official title to the release date. Though there is no official news about the actual price of iPad Pro 2021. But estimated prices are SAC follows iPad Pro 2021 is specifically divided into two parts for price changing that is size and network availability mode. The 11 inches Wi-Fi only iPad Pro 2021 may start from $799 and the 12.9 inch Wi-Fi only model may start from $999. Now the 11 inch Wi-Fi cellular model estimated price is $949 and the 12.9 inch version of it might cost $1149. The important features that are relatively new and upgraded for the iPad Pro 2021. This iPad will come in two sizes, 11 inches and 12.9 inches. The new iPad might get a mini LED screen bought specifically with a 12.9 inch version. The report claims that these new iPads will get different speaker hole positions than the older iPads. Also, the number of speaker holes is reduced, which might affect the audio experience. For the mini LED screen, its features are, mini LED will help improve the color ratio and contrasting quality of the picture. This is an upgraded quality than the previous LCD screens. The design will be the same as the previous versions of the iPad. Though the design will be thinner, with quad speakers, USB Type-C charging port. The model will remain the same with a lighter sensor, and added flashlight. iPad Pro 2021 will also have Apple Pencil connector and Magic Keyboard. The other features are 6GB RAM, A14Z Bionic chip, face, and touch ID. iPad Pro 2021 may include 5G. And the next generation iPad Pro might be coming away as soon as March and Indo and the breakdown just everything that might be coming with it. I'm talking about many LED displays and one class chips at Thunderbolt 3. iPad Pro is already full screen with Apple just fanel snapping half the bezels away going on 18 months ago already. It's also a DC IP3 wide color gamut, which means rich reds and vibrant greens and true tone ambient temperature matching, so whites look just really paperweight and coarse promotion adaptive refresh. So can ramp up to 120Hz for silky smooth HD quality scrolling or ramp down to 48Hz to show 24 frames per second movies, the way nature and Hollywood intended, but it's still LCD in 2021, and the iPhone switched to all lead back in 2017 already, and despite Samsung and LG pushing for all that in the industry. Rags Apple just doesn't seem to think bigger than phone sized older panels are really ready for prime time yet at all, just in terms of the LTP overages. They need the costly yield and things like the consistency of the brightness, so the big rumor is the iPad Pro is going many LED instead, and many LED just offers almost all the benefits of all it, but without the issues that plague like smearing pulse width modulation off axis color shifting burning and the penthouse up pixel arrangement, because many LED is blessed. The RGB striped what it does is use smaller backlights like 200 UM smart light 10,000 of them grouped into local dimming zones, which lets them get the deeper blacks and higher contrast ratios needed for HDR or high dynamic range, and I'll be doing an in-depth explanation on how all of that works, so make sure you the subscribe button belts so you don't miss it, because it should be just legit terrific for everything from TV Plus to Disney Plus to all the Dolby Vision content being shot right now on the iPhone 12 2018 iPad Pro, had an 812X chipset. Basically the 812 from the iPhone tennis but with for efficiency and for performance course 8 neural engine course and 7 graphics course fat. Of done TSMC 7nm process the 2020 iPad Pro, as in a 12C chipset. Basically, a tweet 812X with its 8 graphics core just fully operational, but not in a 13X, probably because the Apple selecting team was just too busy working on the 14 for the iPhone 12, an iPad Air 4 and then one for the new MacBook Air MacBook Pro and Mac Mini this next window, the 2021 iPad Pro, is rumored to be going 5nm, with either the 14X or the M1, which would pretty much be the same thing current generation versions of all the performance, efficiency, and graphics cores 16 neural engine cores, and all the modern bells and whistles to go with them whether it's actually in a 14X or M1, is part branding and part economics. It just depends if it's cheaper to make a chip without the Mac-specific hardware blocks like x86 optimizers, or just make the same chip and not use those blocks, and then basically whatever Apple wants to call it, but if you have strong feelings one way or another, just let me know in the comments battery life should stay 10 hours because of the physical battery size, and because that just seems to be Apple's target for pretty much every iPad always since the previous iPad Pro had 6GB of RAM but the M1 MacBook starts at 8GB of RAM. 
it's an open question of how much memory Apple wants in the next iPad Pro, and really interesting to see that either way would a better chipset and more RAM. I and the new iPad Pro would finally be able to run Final Cut Pro Logic Pro, and code well no, because more RAM and even M1, doesn't just magically port those apps from applicant to UI kit or adapter interfaces, from mouse pointer to multi-touch, it could certainly happen, and I would be beyond ecstatic if it did, but it's just as just never been a pure hardware problem to solve part of the iPad Pro's big 2018 redesign, was a transition from Lightning. USB see it. Just allow the iPad Pro to work with a far wider range of peripherals, specifically Mac and PC peripherals, but not Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt also requires servicing PCI aliens, and Apple is just never done, but not on any iOS device. Not even the iPad Pro, but Apple did surface PCI aliens for the M1, two of them with two onboard Thunderbolt controllers. So if the next iPad Pro uses the M1 chips it is is. It will also have those two Thunderbolt controllers, and in a perfect world, that would give us to USB 4 under both reports on the next iPad Pro, and for some people, including me, that would make it just twice as much Pro, and if you feel the same drop like below, but because our world is just so often so far from perfect, I expect the actual number we'll get, is somewhere between 9 and 1. So fingers crossed for at least one, so that Apple will make the iPad Pro a truly first-class USB-C for Thunderbolt 3 experience okay I'll just say it for most people in most places 5G still just isn't that mean it's something that really only carriers care about, and even then only carrier finance and marketing people technicians for like up to here with it already, but those are the modems being made right now, which means those are the modems that are going to be made for the next iPad Pro and depending on how dates and yields work out. It will be either the same Qualcomm X55 modem that's currently in the iPhone 12, or the next generation Qualcomm X60 modem. That'll almost certainly be in the iPhone 13, that won the X60. Is going to use Samsung's latest fabrication process. I don't think it's as good as TSMC's, but Apple is just eating up so much of TSMC's capacity these days, and either way, it should at least be more power efficient than the current. iPad Pro added a second ultra-wide-angle camera and a lighter scanner. Hopefully, Apple will continue to improve both of those, and the main wide-angle camera as well, and if it were up to me the iPad Pro would always have as good of a camera as the iPhone Pro, but I don't. Most times get what I want the 14 and M1 image signal processor again. The same thing will do a lot to improve them. Either way, including HDR3 and possibly Diffusion Night Mode and Dolby Vision, but the current iPad Pro was also missing things like Portrait Mode on the rear camera would press the button, and it would just spin around to the front-facing camera. Even though it had lighter and again I can only assume the camera team was so busy working on the iPhone 12. They just didn't have time to work on the iPad Pro as well. But why wasn't fixed with iOS 14 back in September? I have zero ideas. So maybe, just maybe the third time will finally be the charm, and if so, even if the glass doesn't match the iPhone 12. At least the functionality gap will finally close. Now I have some thoughts on sizes, not rumors, but just some wishlist stuff, specifically about the potential for an even bigger iPad Pro, because that's off topic and total tangent and to save that for the extended version. It seems the iPad Pro 2021 will also employ a quad speaker system, and a dual rear camera setup with LED flash, lighter sensor, and microphone, just like its predecessor. There will be magnetic pins at the back for Apple's keyboard. In addition to this, the right spine of the iPad Pro 2021 will flaunt the Apple Pencil charging strip along with the volume buttons. The bottom edge will most likely flaunt a USB Type-C port sandwiched in between speaker grills. That's all the iPad Pro 2021 CAD-based renders reveal in terms of design.as stated above, there is no word on iPad Pro 2021 specifications right now. However, it's rumored that the tablet may come with the latest A14 Bionic chipset, which is the brain behind the iPhone 12 series and iPad Air 2020 as well. The iPad Pro 2021 is also expected to be the first 5G tablet from the brand. That is it guys. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.